Hey there YouTube, Arbin69 here, yep, back again with another Oculus Quest video. This time we're looking again at side loading. Hang on, haven't we done this before? Yes, we have done side loading before, but this time it's different. We're using a handy little application on a laptop or a PC to enable us to side load apps so much easier than using the command line. If you want to know how to do it, stick around and I'll show you how to do it. So I have done videos on how to load and unload applications using side load using ADB. Um, I'll link the videos up here. However, some people have struggled to use the command line. I have now found um, a nice little application that someone has written and it's a lot easier. The application is called SideQuest and it's a nice graphical user interface. So let's jump on over to the laptop and have a look how we get hold of this application. So here we are in GitHub. As you can see, I've already gone up to the SideQuest page in GitHub. Now the first thing you want to do is head over to releases and in here it'll give you the latest version. Always grab the latest if you can. Now this one has got some fixes for Beat Saber that have been done. Uh, we're up to version 0.5.2 at the time of recording this video. So there are some instructions on how to update Beat Saber but we'll come back to that in a minute. First thing we want to whiz past all this and download your flavour of SideQuest. Now it's available for the Windows, for the Mac and for the Linux. So I want to download the Windows version, which I've already done. So we'll just cancel that for a second. So here we are. This is the application we've downloaded. If we double click on that, we'll extract it just to the folder I have created. There we go. So if we go into there, and we scroll down, we will see SideQuest application. If we launch that, we get a nice graphical interface. Here we go. It's downloading ADB for us in the background. So there we go, that is SideQuest now launched. Now the first thing we need to do is unlock our Oculus Quest in developer mode. Now if you have followed my previous video on how to do this, you can skip this next stage. If you haven't and you haven't put your Oculus Quest in developer mode, keep watching and we'll go through that. So if we go down the bottom here and have a look at setup, it tells us we need to create an organization. So you go to dashboard.oculus.com. In there, log in with your Facebook account and create a developer account. This enables us to put the Oculus Quest into developer mode. The next thing we need to do is install the drivers. Windows only, Mac and Linux can skip this. So this is the ADB actual drivers. Now these are on the Oculus developers website. So you click download. After you've done that, we need to jump over to step three. So step three is where we actually put the Oculus Quest into developer mode. So the first thing we need to do is you need to connect your mobile phone to the Oculus Quest. Click on more settings once it's connected. Click on developer. And that'll be the Oculus Quest into developer mode. Now you need to connect your headset up to your laptop with the, either the supplied USB cable or a USB A to USB C cable. Once you've done that, you'll see this allow USB debugging in the headset. Just click always from this computer, OK, and that's that done and dusted. Now, as my headset is already unlocked into developer mode, um, I skipped those steps. However, I have plugged my headset into my laptop because the first thing we need to do on step five is install the app launcher. And this is side loading the application onto the Oculus Quest. So if we click on that, give it a few minutes while it installs, this is now pushing that um, side quest launcher down to our Oculus Quest. And there we go, it's done. And that is pretty much your first app side loaded onto the Oculus Quest. Now the next stage, it says install your first app, which is called The Expanse. Now from what I understand, this is an application that has been written by the developers of SideQuest. I haven't tried it myself yet, but I've heard very good things about it, so I am going to install that. Simply click on it, off it goes, and there we go, that is now side loaded onto the Oculus Quest. Now in this application, you can see there are other sections down the side. There's a full section on Beat Saber, we're going to come back to that in another video. However, we'll look at VR games. And this is a list of games that are already installed. Uh, there's Alt Space, Quake Go for the Oculus Go, because this application works on the Oculus Go. There is also Quake Quest to put Quake on the Oculus Quest. Now that is something I'm definitely going to be trying. So to install any of these, just click on More, and then click on Install, and off it goes installing the APK. So there we go, that is now Quake Quest installed on my Oculus Go. There are other things on here. There are VR apps. There is ALVR. I've already covered a video on this. Um, I'll probably install this at a later date for myself, but by all means, same again. Click on more, click 
click on install and that will sideload that into the Oculus Quest. There are various Android games they have put on here. Oops. And if we can just scroll down here, you can see those should play fine. And there are Android apps. These are apps that uh, the developers deem that may be useful that you want to put onto the Oculus Quest. So there's a standard YouTube app, and there's the Kodi app, other bits and pieces. And then there is a Not Safe for Work section, which I won't be bothering going into. And that is basically the apps sideloaded onto your Oculus Quest. So what we'll do now is we'll nip over to the Oculus Quest and we'll have a look at what we've installed. So here we are in our library section. If we look at unknown sources, you can see there's the Expanse, there's Quake Quest, and there is SideQuest. Now, if you don't see what you're looking for here, what you can do is just launch SideQuest, which is the app we installed, first of all, onto the Oculus Quest. So while editing this footage, I realized that um, while in Oculus TV on the Oculus Quest, you can't record footage, so all I had was a black screen. What I want to show you is when you launch SideQuest and you go into your Oculus TV surroundings, um, go into settings and you can enable system apps as this will show you everything that is installed on the Oculus Quest as some apps you sideload sometimes don't appear to be able to run until you show this and then all the apps from the actual Oculus Quest are shown. But anyway, let's get back to the video and let's finish it off. So like I said, if there's an app on your mobile phone that you do want to install on your Oculus Quest via sideloading, what you'll need to do is download an application called APK Extractor from the Google Play Store. Once installed, what you need to do is extract the APK. So let's see how we do that. So here we are on the mobile phone. As you can see, I've installed APK Extractor. What we need to do is click on that and it loads up all the APKs that are on your phone. So for example, we want to install, here we go, YouTube. Click on that and it extracts it into a path on your folder called APK Extracted. Then all you need to do is copy that from your phone over to your laptop and that's all there is to it. So as you can see, I've copied the YouTube APK. I've also downloaded Steam Link APK. Now, what you can do is there is a nice website that is called apkmirror.com. Now on here, there are hundreds and hundreds of Android APK files that you can download and install via SideQuest onto your Oculus Quest. Very, very good website, highly recommend it. Now, YouTube came from my mobile phone, whereas Steam Link came from APK Mirror. So what you need to do is connect your headset back up to your laptop. Make sure it is in developer mode. And we'll see at the top here, we can see connected. That means our uh, headset is now connected to SideQuest. And then simply take the application you want. Oops. I'll do Steam Link first and drag it in. And there you go, that is simply installing the APK onto your headset. There we go, done and dusted. Now, if you wanna uninstall an application that you've put on there that you no longer use, or decided it wasn't very good, because let's face it, these applications were designed for Android. Some of them will work as a full VR experience in the Oculus Quest. Some will work as just a normal standard experience in the uh, Oculus TV. If you don't like what you see, Back on the Oculus Quest application, click on the little dots up here, and there are all the APKs you have installed on your headset. All you need to do is find the one you want to uninstall. So for example, if we scroll down here and we find the Expanse, better still, there you go. There is Quake Quest. All you would do is click uninstall and that will simply uninstall the application for you and that's it, gone and dusted. And that is SideQuest in a nutshell. So there you have it. That is how you sideload applications and uninstall applications from your Oculus Quest using SideQuest. It's a very, very easy user interface. There are very good instructions on there on how to do the whole thing and it should be a lot simpler for those that found it very, very hard to use the command line interface. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do me a favor, if you did enjoy the video, please smack the thumbs up or the thumbs down button, but please leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought of the video. And also, if you can mash that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell, it helps out immensely. And until next time, happy Oculus questing.